required. So for the determination we need to know regarding the distance of loud sounds that can be measured uh, by the frequency of uh, can be measured by the separation. So we just need to know regarding the separation of the quiet spots and so the answer is D. The frequency of sound or the separation of sound in air is not required. So D is the appropriate answer. Question number 27 says that what is the resultant displacement of uh, at time point 0.38. So at point 0.38 the amplitudes are 0.4 and minus 1.4 so minus 1.4 plus 0.4 is minus 1 so B is the appropriate answer question number 28 says that in which situation does diffraction occur so the appropriate answer is C a wave passes through a gap in barrier question number 29 says that a situation is given we are given with the slit separation we are given with the fringe separation we are also given with the distance between the double slits and the screen and we need to find the path difference between the slits that meet at the second order so at second order we must know that the conditions for the path difference of destructive interference is lambda by 2 first order lambda 1.5 lambda second order 2.5 lambda uh, third order and so on so for the second order we need to evaluate 1.5 lambda so in order to find lambda we need to apply the formula x equals to lambda d over a so lambda becomes a x over d and evaluating this gives us lambda as 4 into 10 raised to the power negative 7 and just multiply 4 by 1.5 that would give us c 6 into 10 raised to the power negative 7 as the correct answer question number 30th that's being asked after a long time it says that a red light of single wavelength passes through a diffraction grating. Bright dots are formed on the screen as shown. Now, this shows the diffraction pattern for red light, which deviates the more. So that's the threshold, maximum threshold diffracting uh, limit, you can say. The red light is then replaced by a white light, which diagram shows the scale with the possible pattern of the bright light on the screen. So from bright light you must know that when a white light passes through a spectrum it fo it forms a vibgyur violet indigo blue up to red so the greatest deflection is of red which corresponds to the option D and the rest are inside so that means that this corresponds to red and this corresponds to V violet same for both sides so d is the appropriate answer so question number 31 says that a nichrome wire has a resistance and a diameter the number density of electron is given a potential difference v is given what is the average drift speed of the electrons in the wire so in order to find the drift speed we need to apply i is equals to nave uh, in order to find the current I equals V over R velocity uh, voltage is 6 6 over 15 is 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 uh, is the current and applying I is equals to nave would give us velocity as current over NAE and plugging in the values which are given above uh, would give us 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 which is B so question number 32 says that a cell and a resistance and the same cell with two resistance same two resistors are given it says that what is the the power dissipated in one of the resistors is R what's the total power dissipated if the same resistor is connected in series so according the uh, because the EMF is same for both circuits so comparing it with P is equal to V square over R so P and R are like inversely proportional so p1 r1 equals p2 r2 so p 
r equals p2 2r makes p2 equals p over t2 so b prop becomes the proper answer question number 33 says that a potential difference across a filament lamp is increased which statement is correct the correct answer is the resistance of the lamp increases because the temperature increases that's a simplistic reasoning for the increase of the potential difference across a filament lamp question number 34 says that a metal wire has resistance r and its diameter decreases 94 percent of the original diameter and the volume of the wire is unchanged. Such sort of questions have been asked repeatedly before. What is the resistance of the stretched wire? So what we need to do is that we need to evaluate the volumes for the first wire is AL. So considering an area as one, so mix volume equals length. And if the diameter is being decreased by 88 percent, that makes uh, that makes it to 0.88 and the volume becomes 0.88L and L dash becomes V over 0.88L and V can be replaced by L so L over 0.88 or 1.136L so resistance is rho L over A so just plug in the values and you, you will find the answer 1.28 or 1.929 question number 35 says that the what is the power dissipated by the internal resistance of the cell first of all we can find this current in the cell in the whole circuit which could be evaluated by i equals v over r so uh, so that is 3 over <coughs> uh, 14 which is 4.7 plus 9.3 so that gives current as 0.2142 and then we can apply p equals i square r and we can evaluate 0.2 so b a is the proper answer question number 36 says <coughs> that a circuit is shown what is the reading on the voltmeter so in order to get the reading on the voltmeter we need to get the voltages across v1 and v2 and subtract the voltages that would give us the potential difference so v1 is 24 <coughs> over 13 to 15 makes it 12 just ensure that you take the re uh, resistor reading uh, from the positive end okay so because that's the decreasing and increasing to decreasing sense so 24 over 13 to 15 makes it 12 and v2 is 6 over 15 into 15 in, uh, is 6 so just subtract the, those values 12 minus 6 is 6 volts so the potential difference is b 6 volts it's a very popular question it has been asked many times before so do <coughs> make sure that you know how to do this so question number 37 question number 37 says that what is the new reading on the voltmeter two conditions are given that before the <coughs> resistance x and y were the same and the uh, emf is 20 millivolts after the voltmeter uh, the one of the resistor x is placed in cold environment and the resistance doubles it becomes two times and the y is placed in a warm environment and the resistance halves it becomes y over 2 so r over 2 basically you can say that because they were the same before so we need to find the new reading on the voltmeter so r over 2 over r over 2 plus 2r makes it 5r over 2 which makes it the voltage becomes 1 over 5 into 20 which is 4 millivolts so a is the appropriate answer Question number 38 says that which conclusions about atoms cannot be drawn from the alpha scattering experiment? Alpha scattering experiment does not tell that nucleus contains both protons and neutrons. We do know that they, it says about the dense and positively charged particle but not regarding particularly regarding protons or neutrons. So question number 39 says that which two particles have opposite charge? So B is the antiproton and beta plus particle. And question number 40 is which particle is a lepton? So the answer is positron. So they all are fundamental particles. So thanks for watching my video. Do like, 
एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू